Okay, quick tutorial here on how to back up your site and your blog and the associated database. First off, you want to go into cPanel, and I'm using a generic cPanel demo, and so everything is generic information in here. First, you want to find the Files section. You may have dragged and dropped this section to a lower portion of the screen, so find that Files section, and then you'll want to click on what should be the first button, which is Backups. The first choice that you'll see under Backups is Download or Generate a Full Backup. So let's start with that. You can download this to your home directory, which is the top level of the server that you're using for your site. And you can then go in and download it directly from your server. But if your server is destroyed, nuked, melts down, uh, your backup will be destroyed as well. So if you do this, you'll want to just go into your FTP and download the backup to your computer and then maybe even keep a copy of it on a remote server. But as you see here, you have the choice of sending this backup to a remote FTP server directly. So let's just go through how you do that. First, choose remote FTP server as your backup destination. Put in an email address and you'll be notified as soon as the backup is done. And then you'll need to fill in your server information, where your FTP server is located, your user and password, port number if applicable. And down at the bottom, if you want to choose a remote directory, you can do so. That'll just be a subdirectory on your FTP site. When you're done with that, there's a button that says Generate Backup. And you will want to click that button down underneath my screenshot here. And then you'll see a screen that says that you'll be notified when it's done. Now let's go back to the backup section and download a home directory backup. Just click that home directory button under partial backups and that'll go directly to your desktop. That'll take a while, if you, especially if you have a big site. Underneath that, here you see you can download a backup of your MySQL databases. This is where your blog actually lives. And you can see on the right side here, you have buttons to restore both that home directory and the MySQL database just by re-uploading those files that you just downloaded. When you download your MySQL database, it's your blog database but it doesn't contain any images or any other uploads that you may have put in your blog post. Those will be in a different location on your server depending on what you've specified as your upload location. So you, if you have for example an images folder you'll want to go in and download that as well and that will also be a part of your full backup. Now you've got just about everything. One thing that people tend to forget is to download your email forwarders and filters. These are things that you've taken a lot of time to set up probably and you'll want to click on each one of them and download them so that you can restore them later. Once you've done that you basically have a copy of everything that you've done on your site. The first option download or generate a full backup just grabs everything, gives you a local copy of your full account and it's particularly good if you need to move to another server. All the other partial backups are really useful if something gets lost or corrupted or you've made some changes that you realize later that you didn't want to make. So that's how to back up your site. I recommend that you do this frequently.